friends, it's Grace and today I'm going to be sharing my top 15 favorite art prints. First of all, I want you to notice my spectacular shirt. It's inspired by Shatter Me and I love it. So this was really hard to narrow down, like even more so than when I did my top 10 candles. I was originally going to do a top 10 for my art prints, but it was impossible. So I was like, okay, I'll do a top 15. So these are going to be in no particular order. The first one I'm going to show you, some of them are sets. They go together. It counts as one. It's fine. So this is our first set. The dust jackets made for Stocking Jack the Ripper. They're all so beautiful. Um, these are incredible. This counts as one. And in particular, my favorite one is this one. I love all the blues all over it. And if you can see, Audrey Rose looks stunning. It just, it looks amazing. Like this is, I love it so much. Next we've got this print from the Grishaverse, which I won in a giveaway from Lit Joy Crate, I think, a while back. I love this. First of all, it's just gorgeous from just looking at it. But if you've read the series, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of more details you'll notice in it. And so first of all, if you haven't read it, don't look too hard because maybe you can figure out some things that should stay unfigured out until you read them. We've got the Darkling, Alina, and Mal, and it's just absolutely stunning. It is stunning. I adore it. I love how the Darkling is both beautiful but also looks like a villain. Like, he looks terrifying at the same time. I adore it. I love everything about this. These dark shadows, one of them, like, has... A, a piece of her hair like it's it's incredible this this art piece kills me it's so good next up we've got an itty bitty one <laughs> so this is from shatter me it's Juliet and Warner I had to include this one because I love it it's the tiniest little one that I have but um, it's so cute I love it um, it came in the fake crate um, defy me box last year and I just love it I love it it's Juliet and Warner my favorite couple of all time. Next we've got this set. It's Aelin and Rowan from the Throne of Glass series. This is probably my least favorite fandom in the batch. Like most of these art prints come from some of my favorite fandoms. I like Throne of Glass but I'm not obsessed with it. But these art prints are absolutely breathtaking. Like look at this. I mean in particular the Aelin one. But like they go together. And so like I can't just show the Aelin one. This is absolutely stunning. This is a masterpiece. This artist is one of my absolute favorites. I just, I cannot, I can't, I can't. Next we've got another Shatter Me print. There are gonna be a few in here. So this one partly made the cut because it was one of my first art prints. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. So this is Juliet and Warner, and it can go either way. I love it. I love it so much. It's not necessarily, like, exactly how I picture them. Like, I'm very picky with my Warner, but I just love the art in general. I love what it's representing. I just, I just really love this art print. Next, we've got... Belle from Beauty and the Beast. This came in a fairy loot box, I believe. This one is just so, so stunning. I can't get over how beautiful this is. Clearly it's not like based off of the Disney version. It's not based off of Emma Watson. It's just like someone's imagining of, of Belle and it's, it's absolutely beautiful and I think fits it so well. I just, I really, really love this art print so much. Next, Another Shatter Me print. This also came in the Defy Me box by Fay Crate last year. So this is supposed to be like a sticker that you put on the inside of your book. I'm not going to do that because then I won't have it to like show around and be like, look at these characters that I love so much. So this is Juliet, Warner, Kenji, and I believe this has to be Nazira, right? Because who else could it be? Although it's not how I pictured Nazira, but it has to be, right? I don't know, but Kenji looks freaking gorgeous. Um, Warner, I'm okay with this version of him. Again, like I said, I'm very picky with my versions of Warner. I think I'm okay with this because I wouldn't necessarily say he's my type, but I could say that he's objectively beautiful and he's very like, like it looks sharp and hard and untouchable kind of, which I think is, is kind of like what he should be. And then Juliet looks amazing. This might be my favorite depiction of Juliet. I mean, she looks fierce and she looks beautiful and I love it. I really, really, really love this. This I, I wish this was bigger. 
bigger. I want like a really big art print of this one. Next we've got one from Strange the Dreamer. This one is so beautiful. It's Laszlo and Sarai and it's just a very beautifully done art print. It's beautiful. I love the way her hair is flowing out. The longing on his face is like so well done. I just think it's absolutely beautiful and the details in this if you've read the book. Um, it's it's so beautiful. Next we've got the Cruel Prince. I think I have three of them in here in my top 15 because the Cruel Prince art is just phenomenal. So first off we've got this. Um, you'll see this this artist did like probably most of the stuff in my top 15 because I adore her. This came in a fairy loot box a little while back. I love it. I love it. I think the depictions are perfect. They're like exactly how I picture them. There's not much to say about this except that it's perfection. This series is... I want more. Like I, I adored the trilogy but like I want so much more. Like it could go on and on and on and on and I would read it all and be happy with it. Let's go with the next set of art prints. I've got a lot here. There are six of them. What could it be? It's the dregs from Six of Crows. <laughs> so I had to do this as a set. It counts as one because they all go together. You can't split up the dregs. This is a set all done by the same artist. Every single one is perfection. Every single one is exactly how I picture the character. So, we've got Jesper, perfect, beautiful. Wylan, perfect, beautiful. Little cinnamon roll. Nina, perfect, beautiful, what a fierce lady. Matthias, one of the loves of my life, beautiful. Kaz freaking Brecker, I'm showing this a little longer because you just have to see. He's so beautiful, I love it so much, ah! And then Inej looking as beautiful and fierce as she should be. This is just the best set of Six of Crows art ever, ever. You can fight me on that and, and, and I will win. Next is another from Stalking Jack the Ripper. This was part of the pre-order incentive for Capturing the Devil. So this is Thomas and Audrey Rose and it's beautiful. I just love everything about it. Even the back of it's beautiful. I just, it's gorgeous. This artist, um, Gabriella whatever I can't pronounce her name I'm sorry she also did the dust jackets and I just think that her versions of Thomas and Audrey Rose are my favorites they're just so beautiful and it looks perfect and I love it next we've got another cruel prince so this one is stunning this one would definitely make my top 10 if I had to cut it down to 10 but like I don't know what wouldn't um, but this would definitely because this is one of my favorite like it may be in my top five I adore it because first of all like it's the same artist as the other one and she does my favorite depictions of Cardin and Jude and there's just so much going on in this picture this just shows their relationship very well and then all the lights all around it I I can't even fathom how she does such beautiful artwork. It's amazing and it's perfect. And this is amazing and perfect and I love it so much. Next is my final one for Shatter Me. This made it into my top 15, even though these aren't exactly how I imagine them. I just, in general, think the art is beautiful. And the fact that it shattered me makes me very happy. I think it's like I can respect the beauty of the piece even if it isn't exactly how I picture the characters. Like, I think Juliet's pretty good, but Warner, in my opinion, looks a little bit too feminine. I don't think his face, like he, it looks like his face and neck are a little bit too thin. I, I think he's a little more bulky than that. And so I don't necessarily find him attractive in this, but I can admire the attractiveness of the piece. And that's why I made it into my top 15 because I couldn't leave it out. It really is a stunning piece, even if it's not exactly how I pictured these characters. Second to last, we've got another from Strange the Dreamer. This is one that I think came in an Illumicrate thing, and I can't get Illumicrate things because I live in the U.S. and it's too expensive for people in the U.S. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, I need this, and so I bought it from somebody on like Facebook or something, and it was awesome. So um, worth every penny spent. I don't know how much I spent, though. I don't remember. <laughs> but this is gorgeous. I adore it. It's just everything about it. Don't look too hard if you haven't read it because... <laughs> If you look at all the details closely enough, you could spoil yourself because there are really good details in here of very specific things in the book. But if you don't look too hard, because I think I got the art print before I read the second book. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I might be making things up, but like when I first got this, didn't notice all the little details that show like 
crazy specific things um, that could be a spoiler if you haven't read it. And so I don't think they're too noticeable if you don't look too hard. But um, I love, love, love this. It's just so, so beautiful. And our 15th art print is another one from The Cruel Prince. It's Carded in Jude. This is a recent one that I got. And for some reason, I can't remember what box I got it in. That's a shame. I love it so much. I just, everything about it, I, I think the depictions of them are perfect. I can't find a thing to complain about here. Like, even his, his tail is wrapped around her. I just love it. I adore it. This just occurred to me, but it looks like they could be, like, posing for an awkward family photo. I love it. It's so funny. I just, I love this so, so, so much. Those are my 15, but we are not done yet. So basically, <laughs> I couldn't narrow it down. I was at like 20 something, got it down to whatever, finally got it down to 16, and I was like, what do I get rid of? And ultimately, I decided to get rid of none of them. So actually, I've tricked all of you, and there are 16, but I decided it can still count as 15 because those 15 are from published books. Number 16 doesn't count because it's from my book, <laughs> but I had to include this. I had to because this is, if you don't know, if you aren't familiar with um, me or my bookstagram or my um, booktube channel, these are my characters from my book, A Million Falling Stars. This is Adam and Rose, and I love it. This I commissioned from Cameron McCafferty. You can find him on Instagram, and you should commission him because he is amazing. I don't think I could ever work with another artist because he was so perfect. So basically my thought is that this is like number zero, and the rest are 1 through 15. That works, right? Because, like, this was a, was a no-brainer. Like, I had to show this because it's beautiful. But it doesn't have to count in the top 15 because it's not from a published book yet. So it doesn't count. It's on another level. Am I clever or am I stupid? I don't, really don't know. So those are my top 15 plus one extra. <laughs> art prints. I hope you really enjoyed them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please come back next time and see me and my pugs, even though they've not been very active in this video. Please see me and my pugs as we do something fun. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>